in these times it's even more important that our house smells as good as how we smell if not better let's talk about oriental and beautiful way of fumigating our house Hey guys, welcome to my channel Intellectual Sense. My name is Dev Jyot. Now today's topic of using Bakur to fumigate our house is a very important topic in my opinion. Now I have been searching on this topic uh, for last couple of months on YouTube and on Google and to be honest with you I did not find a very good content. Uh, the content were either incomplete or completely wrong. So. Uh, during this uh, research, I talked to a lot of uh, connoisseurs of Bakur to understand what are the best practices of using Bakur. And I have tried using those uh, techniques and the best practices and I clearly see a better result. And I'm going to share those techniques and uh, results with you in today's video. So if you're liking the content I'm providing to you guys, help me spread my work by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And also what I will be doing is that I have constructed this video in three uh, structures. Uh, first will be that I will be telling you what are the basics of Bakur. Second part will be talking about pros and cons of using Bakur. And last will be my five recommendations of best Bakurs which I have found. So let's start with basics of Bakur. So to start using Bakur, you require five things. Uh, some of those uh, things uh, out of those five are optional and some of them are mandatory in my opinion. So the first thing you need to decide is what kind of burner you're gonna have, you're gonna want to start using. Uh, you have got three options in that. One is that you could use an electric burner. Now in electric burner, I uh, remember a couple of years back, I went to Ajmal store and I bought an electric burner and it went bad in about uh, three or four times after using it. Uh, so what I've understood in terms of electric burner is that you need to have a high-end electric burner which has a thermostat. Uh, that's the only thing which works properly. So if you're going to go electric burner way, go with the high-end electric burner which has a th thermostat. The second option which you have got is uh, you could get a gas burner. Uh, I've got a gas burner from ARK Enterprise. Uh, it's good. It's very easy. Like it's kind of a fast food which is very easy to you know have bakur in it and start using it uh, however what i've uh, understood is that and also experienced is that the smell of bakur changes whenever i am using it with the gas burner so you could use it uh, but there will be some uh, you know side effects of it you what you can say the last option and the most preferred option is that you use a coal burner uh, you know the burner which runs with coal it's a manual burner you can also call it uh, now that burner in my opinion is the best way to go forward now in this burner you have got two options uh, one is that you could have a closed burner which you, you know you can close it and one is an open burner uh, now you could use any any of them in my opinion uh, the only thing which I will tell you is that if it's a closed burner and it's a small close burner then uh, the oxygen will not be passing through very well and then your coal may not burn properly and hence your bakur will also not burn properly so if you go with close burner try taking a bigger close burner like which size is bigger i've used one from ayubata it's an amazing uh, burner to have it's uh, you know it's a wooden burner and uh, try using that one in my opinion. So the second option which you need to, uh, decision you need to make is what kind of uh, charcoal tablet or magic coal you need to use. I'm using this one from Hamil Al Musk charcoal and it works perfectly fine, no issues with that. Uh, so here I haven't got any particular suggestion for it, you can go with any of it. So that's the second decision you need to make. Now, option number three which you need to do is uh, like how do you want to light up this charcoal now you have got uh, basically three options one is that uh, you could use uh, your gas burner in your kitchen uh, you can go there and you can burn it on that second option is that you could use a matchstick and burn the coal using that 
And the third option if you're seriously into Bakur is that you should uh, invest into Jetflame. Uh, it's a small jet flame which is av available on the Amazon. Very handy and you can use that to uh, start uh, lighting up your charcoal. Now the fourth option which you also can uh, uh, ha you know, need to have is not necessary to have but you could invest in it is have a tong. Uh, a tong will help you in terms of putting coal on your burner, uh, putting bakur on your burner. You don't want to be using your hand because you could burn your hand also into it. So invest into a tong also. Now the fifth and the most important uh, decision which you need to make is what kind of bakur or mortar you need to burn. Uh, now I will give you my five recommendation at the end of this video. Uh, now before we move on to the pros and cons of using bakur, uh, let me tell you some terminologies which are used. Uh, now traditionally bakur is called anything which is in uh, like uh, wood or sandalwood which is uh, you know done in a powder form and then it is made into a coin and uh, a cake with essential oils in it that's traditionally what is called bakur then there is a second option which is called motar which is basically wood chips or sandalwood chips which have been distilled and uh, you know oil has been taken out of it they are basically called spent or waste uh, sandalwood and uh, wood chips they are dipped into um, essential oils and then they are burnt. It's called motar. And the last option is called maktoot. Uh, basically, that is a combination of bakur and motar, where wood chips are covered with the powdered uh, wood and the sandalwood in essential oils. Uh, that's called maktoot. So these are the three different terminologies which are used. Uh, Generally in uh, market everyone calls everything bakhoor but there is a difference between all of them. So let's start with our pros and cons of using bakhoor. So the three pros and cons, uh, three pros and two cons which I have identified. Uh, one of the pros is that uh, whenever I'm smelling bakhoor and I'm working from my home, it helps me relax. So bakur helps you relax uh, if you it's uh, the smell in the air helps you relax so that's the biggest pros i have uh, of bakur the second uh, uh, pros of uh, this is that uh, unlike other like air spray which you may use this lasts in the air for good six to eight hours so it's quite long lasting also and the last one which uh, the last pros which i see is that you can layer bakurs so you can use different types of bakur to create your own aura on how your house should smell like so that is the uh, uh, three big pros which i've got now there are two cons of it also uh, the two cons is that uh, one of them is it's very smoky so a lot of people may not be used to the smoke of it and whenever you're burning it they may complain about it and uh, the other cons which i found about it is that it's uh, kind of uh, takes a lot of effort to get a bakur going you need a lot of things which i talked about um, so it's not uh, instant like uh, say for example air spray so so yeah so that is the cons which I just got so let's start with five recommendations of different bakurs and motors in my collection so at number five I got Oud Mubakar Fatima uh, from house of uh, Shah's perfume now this uh, bakur has got a very woody smell in the air now whenever I smell it, it's a light woody smell which will be there in the in the room. The and the other thing which I've got about it is that it's uh, quite value for money also. It's I think 650 rupees for 50 grams of it. So it's a very good uh, value for money bakur in my opinion. So at number five, Oud Mubakar Fatima from House of Shah's perfume. So at number four, I've got a House of ARK Enterprise and it's uh, Rashid. Uh, bakur Rashid from uh, this house. Now this uh, Bakur is uh, made out of uh, sandalwood and wood powder mixed with bit of rose. Now this is my go-to Bakur whenever some guests are coming to my house because a lot of people are not used to the oriental smell and this one does not smell very oriental. It smells very sophisticated in my opinion. So whenever some guests are coming to my house, I don't want to risk it. So I go with the most sophisticated Bakur in my collection, which is ARK Enterprise Wood Rashi. I think this cost about 1500 rupees uh, for 50 gram in my opinion. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a good quality Bakur which you can get. 
So at number three, I've got the house of Yunus perfume and it's Oud Motar. Now, I remember I went to Dubai back in 2014 and there were two things which uh, has stuck into my mind. One are the tall buildings which were there in Dubai and the second thing was how the stores, the high-end stores in Dubai smelled like. Now this Bakur makes me, takes me to those, uh, you know, shopping experience which I had in Dubai. Uh, this exactly smells like that. It's uh, it's one of the most uh, oriental yet very classy uh, motor in my collection. I absolutely love burning this. Uh, it's a bit oriental, but still I love it. So at number two, I've got Oud Mubakar from Ayub Atta. Now this uh, fragrance is uh, kind of uh, Oud chips, Cambodian Oud chips with amber and floral in it very very sophisticated high quality uh, motor i will call it um, i absolutely love burning this and the smell in the air it leaves is excellent in my opinion uh, probably uh, last quite a long time i think uh, this lasts in the air at least seven to eight hours uh, after you have burned it so quite uh, uh, you know unique and high quality motor in my collection from ayupata so at number one, I've got a Bakur from Ibrahim Surya and it's called Sayuki. Now, I don't know how many of you uh, believe in heaven, but uh, if heaven is real, that's how it will smell like. That's how beautiful this Bakur is, in my opinion. Uh, absolutely the aura in air of sandalwood, bit of wood with shamama, uh, just a unique and beautiful aura in the air. And it stays like uh, in the air for around six hours. Um, heavenly stuff in my opinion. I highly recommend you. I think this cost around 2000 rupees for 50 gram. And I think there is a Ramzan sale which is also going on. So it's the right time to buy it in case you're looking for a Bakur. So at number one, Ibrahim Surya's Sayuki. A must try in my opinion. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and my recommendation and my guide of using Bakur. Uh, this uh, whole work has taken me at least a couple of months to create this kind of content. So I will really appreciate if you help me spread the, my work by liking and subscribing to my channel. And till next time, have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Cheers.